The glory days of the USA motorbike manufacturing might be behind us. But this does not mean that an admirer of the American heritage can no longer buy a worthy new machine. Today we'll show you the best newcomers that arrive under the Stars and Stripes banners and bring with them traditions of the past as well as technologies of the future manifested in the all-electric models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss any upcoming motorcycle reviews and enjoy the ride! Harley-Davidson Pan America Responding to the growing popularity of adventure motorcycles, Harley is diving into the uncharted waters with its all-new Pan America. This model is built around a liquid-cooled Revolution Max 60-degree V-twin with 1,250cc displacement. Its output is nothing short of impressive, measured at 145 horsepower and 90 pound-feet of torque, easily placing this Predator at the top of the adventure food chain. Harley worked in close cooperation with Brembo to develop a model-specific radial monoblock for piston caliper, plus Michelin co-branded special tires with the motor company. Of course, it comes packed with typical adventure features, like hand guards, adjustable windscreen, skid plates, luggage racks and panniers. The pricing remains undisclosed yet, but we expect to go at up to $25,000 in upper trims. The model is expected to start deliveries in March 2021, but for now, it is on a press tour around Europe. Indian Vintage Dark Horse 2021 brings us five Dark Horse motorcycle models, among which is this Indian Vintage bike wearing the badge for the first time. In addition to the all-black exterior finish with darkened engine, it gets black leather saddlebags and a unique single headlight with a black nacelle. Further distancing itself from the base vintage, the Dark Horse both upgraded touring chassis with adjustable rear air shock. The bike also comes equipped with a keyless ignition, cruise control, ABS and three ride modes. The power comes from the familiar Thunderstroke 111 engine, which features a rear cylinder deactivation tech for enhanced efficiency and more comfort in traffic. This V-twin delivers 92 horsepower and 119 pound-feet of torque, sent down to the wheel via a 6-speed transmission. Zero Motorcycles SRS Often referred to as Tesla of electric motorcycles, Zero once again beats traditional manufacturers to the market by releasing their first mass-production fully fared eSports bike. Based on the SRF Sports Naked, the bike has aerospace-inspired design and look. The latest generation 7510 Z-Force motor makes compelling 110 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of torque, while the 14.4 kWh battery with a power tank add-on ensure 200 miles of ZP riding. As a proper performer, the Zero is suspended by fully adjustable Showa 43mm big piston separate function fork and a Showa 40mm piston piggyback reservoir shock. The stopping power comes from the Bosch Advanced Motorcycle Stability Control paired with the j 4 and single piston calipers. The model comes in standard and premium versions, with the latter one getting a standard fly screen, heated grips and a 6kW fast charging system. Indian Motorcycles FTR Carbon This bike is a new flagship model of the FTR lineup that draws inspiration from the race back Indian FTR 750 and comes wearing full carbon fiber bodywork. In this model, the regular seat cowl, front venter, tank and airbox covers are replaced by carbon fiber elements, while the center console gets FTR Carbon branding. The 1203cc V-twin engine does not get any mechanical upgrades, which means that it still nets 125 horsepower and 88 pound-feet. It is, however, enhanced by the new titanium exhaust from Akrapovich that is mounted lower and is painted in black. As usual, you get several riding modes, all LED lighting and advanced electronics, including traction, cruise and wheelie control. The FTR offers an upright riding position and comes equipped with a fully adjustable suspension with 150mm of travel and dual-disc Brembo brakes with ABS.
Janus Motorcycles Every single Janus motorcycle is designed and hand-built in Goshen, Indiana, is a reminder of simpler days of carefree riding and classic design. The trio of production models is built around the 229cc single-cylinder air-cooled engine and a 5-speed transmission with a wet multi-plate clutch. This motor makes 14 horsepower and returns 70 plus mpg. All the bikes also share the tubular steel cradle feather bed frame, CNC machined aluminum hubs with alloy rims and 32 stainless steel spokes. The lineup includes the Halcyon Bobber, a scrambler style Griffin, and a Cafe Racer lookalike Phoenix. All of them lightweight at 263 pounds, nimble with 70 miles per hour top speed, and undeniably good looking. The Janus motorbikes take 8 weeks to be produced. And despite the bespoke nature, they are covered by two years' warranty and have various financing opportunities. Smash the like button if you are a true fan of American motorbikes. Make sure to participate in the discussion under the video and let's proceed. Zero SRF Another model expanding Zero's range this year is the Naked SRF that sits on a neutralis frame and soaks up 14 years of Zero's experience in the field of EVs. It has refined design, the most powerful C Force 7510 Zero motor, and a 14.4 kWh battery that supports charging at 3 and 6 kW. The setup can squeeze out 110 HP and 140 pound feet of torque, converting them into 124 mph top speed. The SRF is good for 109 miles of range in the combined cycle. But if used as a city commuter and equipped with an additional power tank, one can hope to reach 200 miles on a charge. This Euro Naked flagship features premium adjustable Showa suspension, Bosch cornering ABS, TFT dashboard, optional heated grips, and white Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires. Arch Motorcycle Keanu Reeves has proven multiple times that if he does something, he does it properly. So his bespoke bike manufacturing company, co-founded with Gerd Hollinger, was not just a fluke to burn some cash, but rather a true enterprise of passion. The latest lineup by Arch Motorcycle includes three stunning power cruiser models, each custom fit to the buyer and hand assembled from start to finish by a single specialist. The KR GT1 and 1S are powered by the 2032cc SNS Cycle V-Twin, while the Method 143 gets a 2343cc mill that make 120 and 140 horsepower respectively. Among the latest news for Arch is the addition of 3D models of these bikes to the game Cyberpunk 2077. Besides the looks, the machines granted their unique engine and exhaust sounds to the library of sound engineers from CD Projekt Red game developer. Lightning Strike Once hailed to become the affordable e-superbike, the Lightning Strike ended up becoming a unicorn of electric motorcycles, since only a few first carbon edition models were delivered to the buyers. As per the limited reviews, those few units were plagued with performance issues and poor finish quality. But we'll attribute these to the lockdown and give the company a chance to redeem themselves in 2021. The production version of the Strike is powered by a 300V liquid-cooled flux vector drive system and either 10, 15 or 20 kWh battery. These configurations yield 85 to 150 miles range, 90 through 120 horsepower, 186 pound-feet of torque and 150 miles per hour top speed. The rest of the package is not less impressive. Fully adjustable Olin's fork and TTX GP shock, Brembo brakes, and Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa tires. Harley Davidson Bronx The new CEO of Harley Davidson, Jahan Zeitz, brought with him a strategy labeled Hardwire that will be focusing on reducing the brand's portfolio and concentrating on the key markets. The shift means that the Bronx Street Fighter was axed before even hitting the production lines. Nonetheless, this model deserves to be explored in this video, at least as a prototype design. The bike is powered by the 975cc version of the liquid-cooled Revolution Max 60 degree V-twin. 
that finally delivers an adequate number of horses and keeps the torque high, 115 HP and 70 pound-feet to be exact. The performance was further optimized with the help of Brembo, who designed the brakes with a new radial monoblock for piston caliper, while Michelin co-branded with HD a bespoke set of tires. Finally, the Bronx receives a fully adjustable high-performance Shova suspension and a comprehensive electronic package. Zero by Dow's Ex Machina If you are a fan of electric motorcycles from Zero, but wish they had a bit more individuality and style, take a look at this top-of-the-line SRS modified by the Venice Beach division of Dow's Ex Machina. The model now becomes a legit mid-cafe racer. The custom bike experts added a retro-inspired three-piece fairing made of carbon fiber, a brand new seat from Saddleman, and a hand-blown windscreen from Zero Gravity. Other notable changes include ultralight Dimac carbon wheels, show a suspension, and a custom thumb brake that replaces the stock shifter and foot brake. Hiding under the exclusive bodywork is the familiar permanent magnet motor, producing 110 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of torque. Just like in the stock model, for the 200 miles of city cruising, it can be linked to a 14 kWh battery and a 3.6 kWh range extender. Harley-Davidson Serial 1 The 1903 Serial No. 1 is one of the earliest developmental platforms by Harley-Davidson that were ready for production and went on to become the first street motorcycles. The relic that is now stored at the HD lobby at Juneau Avenue is basically a motor-powered bicycle, a K-moped, so it serves as a perfect design inspiration for the all-new electric retro bicycle from the brand. This build has sleek design with a mid-mounted motor, composite belt, disc brakes front and rear, a suspended seat, and a gorgeous LED front light. The technical specs are not yet known, but the production is expected to commence in spring 2021. What is your verdict about the American motorbike lineup of tomorrow? Is it the time to stick to the roots or attempt expanding, just like Harley-Davidson had done before the lockdown hit? Subscribe, like, share, and proceed to exploring other 2021 motorbike top 10s by following the links on the screen. Thanks for visiting Automotive Territory, and may the torque be with you!